What's going on, My name is Chris, and welcome back to another super exciting episode of Let's Play Golden Sun. Last episode, we plunged deeper and deeper into Soul Sanctum, and we were told this was the very end of it, but Crane always felt that there should be a bit more to this place than what meets the eye, because Transformers, of course. Um, and yeah, we're, we're left off in this room. Two of these statues are not like the others. I'll give you one guess to figure out what we have to do here. That's right, we use our man muscles to push these ancient statues that could probably are very valuable and shouldn't do. But but what but there's nothing here? Uh, hello? Hello? Oh, no, uh, okay. This is a little bit weird because that glows as if there's something you could do. Oh god, oh I forgot about the monsters. <laughs> yeah, have we talked about slimes? This is a new recording session. Oh, we haven't talked about wait, yes we have. Have we not? I think there were, there were slimes in the prologue. Yeah, there's a new recording session, so I don't know exactly what's going on. We all have done what happened. Have we even battled Jenna, Jenna yet? I'm not entirely sure. Um, anyways, uh, that was a slime. He's a level 2. He uh, drops 2 experience, 2 gold. He has 22 hit points, and he has a 3.125% chance of dropping an herb when he dies. Um, but, okay. Let's push forward. I don't know if I have to explain Jenna or not. It's actually been a little while since I've recorded this, so, uh, yeah. Anyways, just push that statue and you push on. Really offer an explanation, and at least there's a weird dungeon area. What kind of weird shrine is this? You know, this is an old Breath of the Wild shrine. I guess I haven't explained. I, did I do battle? I don't remember those battles before. There, there was, right? There would have had to have been. So, anyways, Garrett and Jenna now have flare, which are fire based synergies, which are very helpful. There we go. They're all dead. All dead, Jim! Hey, um. I would have explained the other monsters in here, right? There's there's bats, there's also wild mushrooms, and there's vermin. Are the other monsters that live in this cave that have the exact same stats as uh, as they had in the storm? Hopefully, we can kill all these with the right taste. The slimes are really ridiculous. <laughs> I just they, they look bored, don't they? They also look like they have red eyes. Um, just gonna let you go and fail. What I was gonna say there, uh, Isaac's now level 2! Master of the Squire's Quake. Maximum HP raises by 8. Maximum PB raises by 3. <laughs> Attack raises by 3. Defense by 1. Agility by 4. And uh, you got 6 coins. Good, good, good. We are now rich! Don't take these good coins. What are monsters doing with coins to begin with? Nobody knows. Oh, is this the first instance? No, this is the first instance of the chest. <laughs> got a small jewel! So much like the first chest, we got another smile jewel. Um, as we go farther into this, I'm seriously just waiting uh, for the net for the next monster, for the one single monster we haven't seen here before, and then we start cutting out battles. Uh, Talk about the powerful quake. It's a new synergy we got, so let's try that out, shall we? And hopefully we'll get a chance to use it. Um, monsters have a uh, anywhere between one and five monsters could be attacking at once. The maximum is five is what I'm going with that. Edgar defend one of the many examples if your target gets destroyed before your party member gets to attack uh, They defend which is kind of annoying they de default to defending it says just switching the targets Gare is now level 2 guard maximum HP raised by 7 PP by 3 Attack by 3 or 4 sorry defense by 2 agility by 4 Jenna is also level 2 flame user maximum HP raised by 7 PP by 3 Attack by 3 defense by 1 Agility by 4 you got 8 coins okay so, um, you might be wondering, what is, what is Defender, what is Flame Guard? Uh, all that stuff will make sense eventually. Right now, it's kind of irrelevant. Ah, here's the maximum party limit here for the, the bad guys. Alright, let's keep it all centered there. Probably not going to be enough, actually, but we shall see how. No. Hey. <laughs> yep, we have to do two turns here to kill these scrub lords. Oh, oh. Yeah, so, uh, in addition to being able to attack... Um, they can also flee. There's also the flee option for the, for the dudes as well. Everything isn't like exactly like, oh, if, if this enemy could attack or flee, there's a 50% 50 50 chance. There is like different percentage of chances of what monster will do what. And okay, I think regardless after this, I forget how frequent battles are in this game. I will start cutting after this. However, all the battles are pretty quick, quick anyway, so is it worth it? We're actually, I think, going to be through the battle soon anyways. We shall see what happens here. More statues. Hmm. Doesn't look like we can reach them from here. Perhaps synergy is the key. Isaac, try to use your synergy. Uh, what even is? Okay. So I don't even know if I have move on my right. 
Oh, you can actually see at the bottom right there as well. You can see L to set L, and then it says R move Isaac. That tells you what, what you do have set already. Let's we'll start in the right here. Ooh. So, we'll leave that for a second. Um, but we have a room here to go through. And... Oh, here's actually the one guy we haven't seen yet. This is called an Amaze. He's a spoopy ghost, as you can see. Uh, he is level 2, he has 20 or HP, sorry, he drops 3 experience, 3 coins, he has a 6.25% chance of dropping oil drop, and he dropped it right there. Alright, we will use that next turn actually, so this is just a dead end, just loops, I don't want to go too far in it just for bat battle's sake, I don't want to fight monsters. Um, so if we pull all these away, uh, it really hurts if I don't, we're gonna do it. <laughs> So we're just gonna have that one to the wrong side, and we can't even fix it if we wanted to, and it hurts. There's the Minotaur here, so we're just gonna uh, it's a relief of a Minotaur, just like the other puzzle before. The right eye is sparkling, but the hole where the left eye should be. This is very much also a tutorial dungeon. Um, let's see, it causes damage with flames. Yeah, we'll try that. We'll try that next turn. Isaac set small gem to an empty save kit. You hear the sound of a shifting stone. So your first instinct might be to go back to that room and see where the door is, but if we actually take a look over here, it's actually on the far right. There we go. Wonderful. Oh, no, another one of these rooms. Oh, we can use our flame. Oh, just in the maze, though. All right, let's freaking stab him to death. Generally, defaulting to just pure attacking, of course. <laughs> of course, he survived the round. Defaulting to just attacking isn't actually the worst idea in the world. It seems to work out for the best of us. Oh, there we go. There! Isaac on Herb. The first chest we've gotten in the game, I believe, that can that contain some other, uh, just another maze, contains something other than just uh, uh, the gems. Rumble. Really? I didn't have that written down. I might write down if they have attacks that uh, do or that are besides attack and flee. Hmm. The rumble will just do additional damage or just flavor text for the most part. Here we go. This is it. We found it. Love this music, by the way. It's fantastic. Clearly, that's the mark of the sun, the heart of Soul Sanctum. Just as I had imagined, which means those two were telling the truth. But if what they said were true, then that means they must have been. They were thieves! They've come to rob the Sanctum! Let's train! Go back to the village and tell everybody! Everybody! Raiden, what's the matter? We're so close. Close? Close to what? We've come all this way to the heart of Soul Sanctum to turn our backs and, on it and leave. There's something wrong with that? Soul Sanctum holds the origins of alchemy. It would be a waste to. What do you think? Should I go a little farther? <laughs> so, we have to figure out what's going on with those thieves, but Kraden is obviously like inside of a wet dream right now. So, alright, let's entertain Kraden here. Let's see, we'll push forward. Thank you! If you put it that way, we don't have much of a choice. I'm with Kraden. I want to look inside. He's so happy! Really, we just go a little bit farther. It's funny how Crane's like the kid of the game, even though like he's the eldest. Good, it's decided. Let's move ahead. Hopefully, we don't regret that decision. You're going farther and farther to the sacred place where you're not supposed to be. Who lit those candles? These angel statues look pretty cool as well. They look like they're like holding mirrors, I think. Not entirely sure what they're holding. I think they're yeah, they're angel statues. They have wings. Okay. Sometimes the graphics are a little hard to tell what's going on, and since you know this is a Game Boy Advance game. What what is this game room? Game room. There's a moon in the center, a picture of Luna. This must symbolize night. These rooms must be connected somehow, don't you think? Yeah, I mean, sun and moon, that, I would say that's a pretty big connection. Luna and soul, these rooms must hide some secret. What could it be? Why? Why must they hold a secret? What does it all mean? Isaac, would you look farther up the passage? Let me know what you find. Excuse me while I go stare at this wall for the next 20 minutes. I can't even fathom what this all is like. So it's actually pretty cool. You can see like northern lights and 
sparkle stars, the sparkle star effect. Go this way, it all fades out. And we're back to the normal music. So looks like we're in the same way we just came, but no, it's a different room. So this room here is actually, I always thought it was really cool. I thought it looked really pretty. This, one of these crystals is not like the other. So before you actually pick this up, it's actually a really good idea to heal up using Cure. So you'll see you'll cover all HP. And Jenna's okay, right? Oh, no, she can heal as well. So when you do it this way, you'll see Isaac has uh, lost a little PP now. PP, if you pick this up, Isaac got a Synergy Stone. Price PP is fully restored. See, the Synergy Stones, uh, Synergy Stone disappeared. They only restore PP, so if you had picked that up before I healed, they would still be hurt a little bit. So it always makes sense to heal up as much as you can before picking those up. Or, uh, otherwise, you'll be kind of squandering it a little bit. Ooh. More pushy, pushy angel statues. It's also a very... Reminiscent of the rooms down below the stairs. No. <gasps> What's this? Isaac must have found something. Um. 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 Isaac, stop! You're about to make a big mistake. Wait, Isaac. What's wrong, Kanan? most interesting mechanism we found, Isaac. But this is clearly some kind of trap. This is a trap? Go look in the lunar room and you'll, you'll understand. We've done well. Finally, this means you're looking in the right place. But if you want to... But if you just move one statue, you, you, you'll be caught in the Sanctum's trap. But why would anyone put a trap here, anyway? I don't know who did it, but they've hidden something very important. Perhaps they've hidden the key to me itself. Sorry, I just coughed and now my voice is all messed up. Should I tell you more? Uh, sure. Hmm, honestly, I don't... I can understand if I explained it now, I'm dying. We must try to find a solution to this mystery! Sheesh, another mystery? I'll keep checking the lunar room. We continue exploring the sanctum. I'm struggling. <clears throat> um, my intuition tells me that light must be the key to the secret. We should test it. Isaac, let's see if we can figure this out ourselves. So, the theory goes that this was the room that Satoru's Amenity wandered upon and uh, activated the trap. They probably pushed all four of these statues at the same time, thinking that would uh, solve the problem. Actually, they probably did the exact same thing we did. Pushed one, and the statue pulled itself back, and then they tried to push all four at the same time, and that probably caused the storm. Oops! Why did I do that? Why did I do that? Okay, good. <laughs> no, we don't have to rewatch that cut. I'm sorry, I, I was... I'm concerned about my dying face. So, if you could probably guess what we have to do, we just have to do this room first instead. They fell for that trap, but all they had to do is come over here. Those guys shoot lights. I guess they are mirrors they're holding. Interesting. <clears throat> Still trying to recover from this coughing fit I had that I muted out. That was kind of cool. It shoots a hole in the ground. If we run over here. Oh, this little pupper inside. I don't know what the symbol is on it. Maybe it is like soul or something? I don't know. There's like a symbol on top of that statue. Something clicked! Good. Good. Now if we push these... Okay, you might get all excited. I'm not entirely sure how what happens here. What, what, what's happening? Magic created. Magic! Isaac must have found something. So a similar cutscene ensues. You found it, Isaac. <laughs> Created. Excellent work, Isaac. No thunderstorms this time. Where did that hole come from? When Isaac moved those statues, two beams from the light shot from, and then this hole appeared in the floor. When Isaac dropped the statue into it after that. Hmm, good work everyone. 
Good work, everyone. Good news, everyone. The statue's puzzle was the trap. <clears throat> the other statue is here to disarm the trap. Now that you've disarmed it, we should be all right. Observe from the lunar room, we're safe. You handle the rest. Alright, Kaden. You do that. Alright, so now let's uh, push the rest of these statues in. So, we have a gander ordering her changing the moon to sun and sun to moon. Pokemon sun and moon, of course. Yes, I'm doing the right thing. I wonder if it's weird for Isaac to know that this is the room that ended up killing his father, as well as Jenna killing her parents and her brother. Although Isaac and Garrett don't really uh, remember that night from three years ago, so they probably don't even realize that this is the place that killed their parents. Alright, head downstairs and see what's changed. Oh, actually, while we're here, I might as well show this off. Um, Synergy Stone. Oh, I'm wrong. Never mind. I was going to say it respawns, but... Uh, it didn't. Uh, Immersion is still in the game. Great. Hallelujah. Look, Isaac, the picture of Luna changed his soul. But other than that, nothing looks different. Mm. Uh, that's strange. They went to the trouble of putting a trap here, and this is all that happens? Somewhere, something changed. Something else must have changed. We must find it. Alright, well, this room changed to sun. This room must have changed to... <gasps> Amazing music again. Look! This symbol on the floor! It changed from Sol to Luna. Surely, there must be something in this room. Indeed. Well, shooting at the wall. Laser beams. Moon laser beams. What? Aha, this has to be it. Let's go, Isaac. Oh no! I didn't realize it was going to make me go now. I was going to cliffhanger it there. Wait for me, Isaac. I'm on my way. Tell everybody I'm on my way. Alright. Let's see the wanders. That what? Great music. Oh, 10 out of 10. Where are we? My question to in another dimension. I was like, Crane's missing an eye when he like faces the camera sometimes. He's not there. Right, right there. Right there. It looks like he's missing an eye. Is that the ocean? That's my. That was always my first thought. And this cutscene always confused me. I understand it now. At least where we are. No, it couldn't be. The ocean has waves. I always thought that perhaps we were in the ocean, or that we're in like another dimension or something, but no, but I'll explain in a second here. The ocean, what's that? The ocean is a thing of endless water at the end of the world. You will not understand. Someday I'll show it to you myself. Doesn't know what the ocean is. Pfft. Elemental stars. They really exist. The elemental stars exist. Tell us about those. Elements are the foundation of all matter. Stones, wood, even us. All things are made from those four elements. You get it right, Isaac? Yes, sure did, buddy. Exactly. As I have told you many times, the elements of are the source of all matter. Earth, water, fire, and wind. These are the four elements. Legend holds that the four elemental stars contain the purified essence of each element. And now those legendary stones are before us! The Venus Star, the elemental stone of Earth. Mercury Star, possessing the power of water's many forms. There is the Mars Star, glowing red with the fire containing within. Jupiter Star, battle with the wind's fury! <laughs> He's so happy! Kraden, why are you getting so excited? 
How can you be so calm in the face of such wonders? You're looking at the very source of all alchemy. Have I told you all this before? No siree. And this must be a lot for you to take in. <laughs> it's so dumb because like Garrett, like that line there, Garrett's like saying like, oh, I knew that. But if you say uh, yes to when he asks if he's told us this before, Garrett goes, what? I must have fallen asleep during that part. The wisdom stone, the stone of sages. This stone dominates everything. It can transmute crude matter into gold, even for death itself. You understand stand now, don't you? No, no, but I'll say yes. The study of alchemy began with, with the search of this, for this very stone. I don't really get how it works, but they have enormous power, right? Beyond enormous. With a single gem, one could conquer the world. Now, perhaps you begin to understand. Don't scare us like that, Kraden. I totally thought you were serious. <laughs> Conquering the world. You could say what the truth is. That's why I've been searching for the elemental stars. I seek to learn the truth about these stones. And now they lie before me. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Slipperly. Even though it's not ice, it's made from the same material as the synergy stones. Be careful, Kane, it looks slippery. I think it can still be slippery though. But I must examine the elemental stars. Make the boys do it. Wow. Rude sexist. Why can't you do Jenna? Oh, I couldn't ask. Would you mind? You'd be glad to get the sun through your eyes. No, we should leave them here. Let me ask you again. Would you, don't you do a place? Fine. I don't want to know the fury of Jenna's red, fiery wrath. Thank you. We'll need this, Isaac. This is all a ploy for Crane to take over the world, isn't it? You brought those from your cottage, right, Crane? Crane has listened to our humanity all along. What are those bangs? Made up. They're made of woven threads of Mithril. I used to pronounce that as my thrill when I was younger. <laughs> I prepared them for just such an occasion. Oh, so look at that. He's the thief. Now go fetch the elemental stars and put them in those bags. What are you getting yourselves into? As I got the four Mithril bags. So, in all our uh, attempts here to uh, be horrified of the thieves trying to steal from it, it looks like we have become the thieves. But anyways, I'm gonna call an episode here. Be careful, both of you. I'll put the elemental stars in those bags and bring them here. And let's leave. Or I'm telling you, I'm the stars out there. Oh, fuck. I'm really curious if the, the text I'm hearing means anything. Um, these games tend to use a lot of uh, uh, Nordic runes. So they might actually mean something. I don't know what, uh, nor have I ever been able to find anything online that states what that could mean. Plus, they're very pixelated, so they might not even have a translation. But uh, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please feel free to leave a like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'll talk to you guys next time. Goodbye.